Welcome to your 10 minute string session. For today's workout, the only piece of equipment you need is a hand towel. So no matter where life has taken you, whether you're at home or a hotel room, you can do this workout, you can challenge your body, and you can get a big win for the day. So let's begin with a one minute warm up, standing nice and tall, just roll your shoulders down and back. Start to notice where you might be holding some tension in the body, maybe your jaw, your shoulders, or your belly, and just invite some breath to go there. And then finding a wide stance, come into about a quarter squat, plant your hands, twist, look over one shoulder, look over the other shoulder once more each way. And then let's turn sideways, stepping one foot back. We're going to make a big windmill shape with our opposite arm. I'm letting my heel drop towards the floor to lengthen my calf. Take from these movements what you need. If you need to move a little bit slower or hold any stretches, this is our time to check in with ourselves and take care of our body and our joints. So if you're feeling good there, Let's make it a little bit bigger and a little bit more dynamic, reaching the arms up, getting into a bit more of a lunge. And we're gonna do three, two, and one more, and then we'll shake it all off. So we've got four exercises to do. We'll be repeating them three times in a circuit for 30 seconds each. The first is a squat using our towel. So this is our quick preview. You can squat, and by pulling on the towel, do a little row. You can do the row at the top or the bottom. So I'll show that when we get into our workout. Then we're going to be doing a push-up. We're going to lay the towel down. We'll do a staggered push-up, switching our hands, and then taking a moment to cross our knee to opposite elbow once in each position. So alternating back and forth. Then we've got a bridge on our back, glute bridge, and a curl up, okay? And then finally, coming onto our knees, we'll be doing a hip hinge with a rotation using that towel. And I'll be giving you lots of cues to add resistance, but let's get started. We'll be doing nine continuous minutes of movement. So take breaks as you need, but let's set ourselves up Feet are a little wider than hip width. Towel is parallel with our shoulders. Let's squat. Squeeze your glutes and pull. Imagine you're trying to make the towel longer. So without hunching your shoulders, you're pulling on it, applying a little resistance. And if you want more for the legs, you can hold at the bottom and do your row there at the bottom. So finishing these out whichever option you like. Inhaling and exhaling as you push the floor. Now let's get set up for our push-ups. So I'm just using the towel now as a visual cue, staggering my hands. You can be on knees or toes. Find your plank position. Here we go. Bending at the elbow, switching your hands, and then crossing your knee, crossing your knee switch. Cross, cross. Back to our push-up. If the stagger doesn't work well for your body for any reason, you can skip that part. We're just keeping it spicy and interesting. <laughs> so, and if we fall out of sequence and forget where we are, that is okay. There's a good chance that as I talk through this workout, I might miss a step. <laughs> so we're just moving our body, getting sweaty, challenging our muscles. So now applying that same pressure Pulling on the towel, line your toes up with your hips, dig your heels into the ground for your bridge, and then just curl, reaching that towel maybe towards your knees or towards that seam where the ceiling meets the wall. So we're just doing a little curl up, suctioning your ribs down. You've got 10 more seconds to challenge this movement. And five, Four, three, two, and one. All right, coming up onto our knees. If you need a little extra padding for your knees, you can always do this on a pillow or another folded up towel. Let's bring those arms out in front. Pull on your towel, we're hinging back. 
and then bring the towel up overhead. So squeeze your glutes as you get to the top. We're getting some nice rotation in the upper body, which is a great reset if you've been spending a lot of time sitting, if you've been traveling or at a desk, driving in a car. This is a really nice way to just bring a little bit more fluidity back to your upper body. Exhale as you squeeze your glutes, two, and time. All right, that's round one. So getting ready for round two. Set up for your squats. I'll show the side view this time. Shoulders are down and back. Ribs are tight. Find that tension on that towel again. We only have 10 minutes, so we want to keep as much tension on our muscles as we can. Inhale, exhale. So as you squat, imagine you're trying to rip the floor between your feet. And then as you're pushing into your feet, imagine you're driving the ground away and you squeeze your glutes at the top. So again, you can always do the pull at the top too. Whichever serves you, you have options. Okay, back to our push-ups and our plank cross. Here we go, we're staggering the hands, setting up, pull your rib cage nice and tight. Inhale on the way down, here we go. Switch your arms and cross. Switch and cross. Push up. Push-ups are tough, but that's why they're such an effective exercise and they're so portable. So no matter where we are, we can do push-ups and know that we're getting a great challenge. If you're not ready for these push-ups, again, go to your knees, or you can always find the edge of a desk or a bench or a countertop and do your push-ups there. On our backs, get ready for those bridges with the curl up. Remember, you can also choose to stay with one of these exercises and skip the combination. If any of these movements just aren't serving you, you can focus on just the bridging or just the curl. But this bridge is also so good. If you've been seated a lot lately, you want to open up the front side of your body and reset those hips. So it's a great way to reset from being in a seated position. Okay, let's get our hip hinges. I'll show side view again this time. So shoulders are down and back, ribs are tight. Towel starts here, hinge it back and bring it up. So make sure as you pull the towel apart that you keep your shoulder blades pulling down towards your back pockets. Inhale, exhale. So good. If you're starting to feel a little bit of that burning in your muscles, just celebrate that. This is like what you came for. Last one, boom. Okay, final round. That means we have two minutes of work left. That's it. So give it your all. Finish line's in sight. Don't quit now. You're this close to the end. Spread the floor energetically with your feet. Shoulders are down and back. Pull on that towel. I challenge you to do the squat hold at the bottom and pull. You got this. Keep breathing. One of the best benefits of exercise is just getting our breathing going. We don't realize how much of our day we spend kind of restricted and tense. And so letting our breath really flow is so cleansing. All right, final round of our push-ups. Love to hate them. <laughs> well, however you feel about push-ups, get into position. Know you can do it. I believe in you. Here we go. Lower down. Switch your arms. Lower. Cross. 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 You're welcome for those knee crosses. It's kind of like active recovery between all these push-ups. Right? 30 continuous seconds of push-ups can feel like an eternity. So we want to give ourselves that little break so that we can come back 
to the push-ups with strength. Boom, done. No more push-ups for now. All right. I don't know what your plans are later, but at least for right now, we're done with push-ups. All right, find that grip on your towel, ribs down nice and tight. Squeeze your glutes, curl it up. You got this. Think about suctioning your belly button down towards the floor, reaching for that seam between the ceiling and the wall. You can hear in my voice how hard I'm working. So if you're sweating and you're breathing hard and it's hard to talk, that means you're doing it right. Two and one. Holy moly, last 30 seconds of work. This is it. Make it count, make yourself proud. I'll show the side view again. Start here, ribs are tucked, chin is tucked. Here we go. Hinge it back, squeeze your glutes. Use that exhale as a reminder to contract your ribs. You got this. Last 15 seconds, finish strong. Oh yeah, 10 more seconds. Just enjoy feeling that energy moving through your body. Oh yeah, two and one. Ah, you did it. So good. Let's take a quick pause for a nice stretch. Maybe taking one wrist in your hand and just lengthening your side body. As you stretch, I just invite you to notice what shifts you feel in your body. If you feel a sense of renewed energy, let's open the chest. If you feel sort of a buzz moving through, and just know that you can choose, you can program that energy with anything that you want. So whatever it is that you need to take forward into your day, whether it's confidence, self-love, compassion, perseverance, whatever it is that you need the most, just program that energy with that right now and watch and notice as it fills you up and energizes you to carry forward into whatever your day brings. I hope you have a great one. Thanks for carving out this time to spend with me for 10-minute strength.